here with his band. I'm sure they still the hear Wale band to entertain us and we will know their story. This and many more will be happening here on Showbiz Agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Della Butri and the Hewale band. Enjoy them. it is not enough give us another rendition course, yes give us another thing before we start talking because when we start talking we will play less okay i'm still here with Della Butri. get ready for this one more issues coming up in fact information song, uh-huh my, my, my student did uh-huh to play this particular song all right did he come through the day is a student to Della Butri, and Della tells me this one did they should perform the day is a slim looking lady. Uh, she is wearing a pink dress. Later on, uh, today at 9 p.m., you can check her out on Xylophone TV. And I have one uh, handsome guy to play in drums, a white guy to be specific. And we are enjoying some good music here in the studio. It is time for the day to do her thing.
make some noise, make some noise for Della Botri. And now Della can take his seat so we can start talking. For so many years, he has been playing around the globe. And today, I am so privileged to talk to him. Della, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Sami. Good to see all your listeners. I know. God bless you so much. And, and Ghana so is much. so thankful for what you've done for us. Thank God. Through the bamboo stick, yeah. you have made Ghana so big around the world. How many years have you been playing this? It's been a very long time. <laughs> Way back 1979, when I was 10. 1979? Yes. When you were just 10 years old? Yes. And how did you learn this? Um, I can always be saying that it's a divine gift because mm. I love the instrument. When I was 10, um, I'm, I've been observing this guy called Anakwisi Hansong. He used to play in a cultural trip around my neighborhood, Russia, Pauli Junction. So okay. I asked him to teach me actually, but he was like, no, I have to pay this money and that. Because I don't have it, one day I was just walking around and I found plastic melody on the floor. Mm -hmm. And I took it. And that's how I started. And Pastor Oti, one of my mom's pastor, so he bought me a tentament. Since then, this is what I have in my life today. I see. Yes. So the word that you have, um, the name that you've made around the world, yes. it is because it's of because this of small this. In instrument. It's because of this. I met a lot of presidents, ministers, ambassadors in Ghana and a couple of... Uh, I see. It's because of this. <laughs> taught in the various universities around the world and still teaching. Mm. Yes. Now, let's talk about the Hewale Band. Yeah. Uh, who owns it? How many people are in it? And uh, what is your position with the band now? I am the founder and the artistic director of the group. Okay. I started way back when I resigned from the Pan-African Orchestra. We are the found, uh, pioneer members of the Pan-African Orchestra and I resigned in 95. So then I took the initiative that I really want to um, uh, explore more of, uh, traditional rhythm from Ghana because we have 10 regions of Ghana and we have more of the polyrhythmics. You know, I, I always want to do my traditional music and traditional instrument with the contemporary fusion. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep it like the way it was because that is the reason why sometimes our own people don't embrace traditional music. I take the traditional music and traditional instrument and modify it with the contemporary mm -hmm. aspect of it. At what point did the world start recognizing you, giving you invitations to come here and uh, perform? That was 1998. Mm -hmm. 1998 I was then how uh, was the turnaround story mm -hmm. say it again what was the turnaround story what well actually, uh -huh. I, I went to professor J.H. Kobinan Kitia who is my mentor at that time and then he was the one actually employed the group to be a resident uh, group at the University of Ghana okay so I became a senior resident artist oh. and I give some time lessons to students and also uh, the group always what we do in the morning is just to rehearse from morning till evening mm -hmm. like you come to work you mm -hmm. close at five we go to rehearse that we finish at five every day it's a normal thing for us and that's how everything started slowly we we happen to perform an audition concert on the 28th of june 1996 that was when professor Nketia realized that no this group has to be a residence at the university of ghana to uh, to demonstrate for the foreign students that comes to Legon because mm -hmm. he, he is here mm -hmm. to, to, to learn Ghanaian music. Okay. You know, sometimes when we talk about Ghanaian music, the foreigners that come mm -hmm. see our indigenous music as our music. Okay. Because you can find them, you cannot find them ar ar around. Uh, they don't have that, so they come here to, yeah. to learn yeah. our yeah. traditional rhythms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so now with Hewale Band. I know you've performed around the world. I hear you've even performed with Stevie Wonder before on the stage. Yes, please. Which year was that? Uh, two times. One, I was with the Pan-African Orchestra 92. And the second one, 2004, I got a call from Akusi Abuzia, the former president's daughter, that mm -hmm. he wanted me to perform with uh, Stevie when I was on stage and use some of his music mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. explore in okay. a traditional way, which mm -hmm. I was so much happy to do. I see. Traditional music. I hear sometimes you get invitations to some universities outside Ghana. Yeah. Uh, here you are a resident person, so it's obvious you are doing it. Yeah. Elsewhere, how is it done? Um, well, it's done, of course, because they, they really appreciate. I, I, For instance, like the work I did with the Conservatory of Holland, was um, Professor Nkichia was the one actually who introduced me. And to be honest with you, it's not really a cheap task at all. You have mm -hmm. to... You have to learn how to read music and write music. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing with that sentiment. Okay. And all the traditional rhythm that I, as you can hear playing, I have to transcribe all of them. Mm -hmm. You know, but I want them to learn the hard refresh, the oral learning. Then after that, I can give them 
the transcription of the music. I see. Yes. So, how many universities around the world have you been uh, invited to to teach or uh, to give them lectures on our traditional university music? University of Colorado, the US. Wow. And then uh, Basel University in Switzerland, mm -hmm. uh, the Royal Dutch Conservatory, mm -hmm. uh, Sibelius Academy in Finland, and then the US government invitation for me to learn leadership skill. I was mm -hmm. invited by the first Ghanaian musician mm -hmm. to attend that program called mm -hmm. Visit. International Visitor Leadership Program. Okay. It's also their university uh, program, but that is not really to teach, but to, to, to learn something and also to give something back to them. Okay. And now at the university, those who come here, especially the foreign students, those yeah. who come to learn our indigenous music, yeah. what is the period? What is the duration for them to learn? They normally come uh, between June and July. Mm -hmm. During summer, uh, during summer, mm -hmm. and this guy has been here for one and a half year now, mm -hmm. but intend to stay more. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Kwame Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I'll, I'll drama. be talking to Kwame Alex yeah. from which country? From the US. Oh, from the US. Okay, yes. good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he has been here for about two, almost two years, and he want to stay more. Mm -hmm. I was encouraging him to to because it's it's not easy to see our own people uh, patronizing on our own music. Exactly. I mean, I'm saying that the dance hall the hip-hop everything is a matter of rhythm and rhythmic patterns so we can infuse them if you don't take time in the future to be honest with you if you see this guy playing they will come and teach us mm, in the future mm, yes mm, mm. we have to be alert and open so you think we can fuse in the traditional instruments with the modern day music or the dance hall of they are course, doing the afro of course. there's a doing. guy who's one of the renowned rapper from he performed for eighty thousand crowd Three years ago, I was. It's called Rene Perry. You can go him. Mm -hmm. He came. I had a call. I was traveling by then to Denmark to perform in the, one of the jazz festivals. Then all of a sudden, somebody called me from the WhatsApp because they couldn't get me on my Is normal exactly. phone. So mm -hmm. they said this guy wanted to work with me. He was waiting for me to uh, do this recording. So I have to call uh, Nasi to book Nasi Studio. Okay. And he agreed with the terms and conditions. I said, okay, it's my right. I want this amount of money mm -hmm. before I can record. We did accept it with my conditions, so we signed moving pick and we moved the next day to the hotel, uh, to the studio. Okay, you and know, work started. And work on it, and the mm -hmm. work is already been recorded and mixed, and now he's now performing it on stage. Traditional music in Ghana. See, you know, so sometimes we we need to come together. If our music can only travel internationally, if we blend them with our traditional instruments. Mm, mm, For mm, instance, mm. if you 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 put accord here with our traditional instrument we have to team together with his team and see how best we can do we can do exploring you know to get the best out of it and just okay we all like it we don't like it let's change it mm, until we find mm, what we mm, want mm, mm, because mm. at the end it's ghana it's not about me the laboratory it's not about you Sammy flex but it's our name we need to make sure that our 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 country you know being heard internationally because if you travel mali salif Keta was telling me i visited him some years back ago, he was telling me, where is Ghanaian music, where is Ghanaian highlight music and stuff like that. And I told him, we are doing it. We are still holding it because they are all looking at us way See, back. Yes. When they come for the training at Legon, do they only learn the wind instrument or like Kwame Alex is playing the drums, they learn other instruments as well? Oh, they learn other things. Mm -hmm. Kwame, Kwame and you are teaching all? No, 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 no. Okay, no. your play, your, play your specialty is the wind instrument. That is no, the no, no. I'm a percussionist. Like like this song playing at the background. There was one playing all the drums. Okay, doing the uh, backups. Mm -hmm. But normally it's done by ten people or fifteen people. But I'm doing all. Oh, I see. You know yes. how to play all. Of course. <laughs> so you are a of full course. team. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Della Boudry is my guest, a special flutist. And this morning we are talking about some of his exploits. And again, the fact that he is still doing it and doing it big. Okay, so um, I was so surprised when I read that when it comes to the number of festivals you have performed, uh, so many great musicians we can mention in Ghana, they've not performed at such festivals. Then I asked, what is so special about what you are doing that even in Ghana, we are not patronizing it well? Uh, <laughs> yes, in Ghana, if you are talking about music and uh, music content, few people will go for the Dela Butri and the Hewale band kind of style. Yeah. We, we, I know the names we will call. Yeah. But then your profile around the world, very, very big. What is the problem with us? You see, I think that we have to learn how to believe in ourselves. You know, if you hear a music that is big in Ghana today, 
When you go to US, you don't hear it. When you go to Canada, you don't hear it because I travel all these countries. I remember way back 1994 when I was in the UK and uh, I was asking somebody, do you know Rollins? So I don't know who is Rollins. So Rollins is our president of Ghana. Mm-hmm. So I don't know him. Mm-hmm. And I asked, do you know Koju Enchi? He said, no, who is that? But Koju Enchi was very big in Ghana everywhere. You understand? I feel that maybe we should, we should, we should, um, Koju, Koju Enchi should be known because the way we mention his name, big in Ghana, but it's not like that. I mean, the, the the focus is that we are getting ourselves limited in the sense that we think that, okay, if your name is bigger in Ghana, it's enough. But before you break through that market, you have to be identified with your culture. Every country without the culture is a dead country. So I think we need to wake up. Because if you play this music now, they are studying Palongo music in the various universities around the world. Mm-hmm. And that is originally Ghanaian music. Okay. You understand? The program music is okay, fine. But we need, like Sidiki, mm-hmm. I visited his father, Tumane uh, Diabate. Uh, uh, I had a, a, a jam session with him in Mali. This guy has been fusing this, like, um, Confucian song. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was playing a chora. I, I know. <laughs> he was playing a chora in the music. So what is preventing us by using... The Sepriwa appear to see. I think it's time for him to come and listen, because we need to fix all these traditional instruments in our music. You understand? Because if we neglect them, then our music is becoming more of synthesizers. Mm-hmm. It's not computer, original. Computer, computer. Mm, mm, mm. And the white people, when they hear this, they see this as original music. I see. It's not in program. So, have you recorded albums yet? I have ten albums. Ten solid albums. Yes. All traditional instrument like this, all jama type like I this. I have, I have uh, various kind of music. I have some that I recorded with a jazz musician from Denmark. Mm-hmm. But also, I don't keep, I don't, I don't forget about my traditional rhythm. Mm-hmm. So I call it with uh, rhythm and wind. Ghana calling is the title of the album. Okay. Yeah, my saxophone friend from uh, Denmark came. So I have a jazz side. I am a versatile. I am not one person one particular style of musician. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When it comes to high life, I am there. When it comes to, uh, 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 how do you call it? Dance mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. when it comes so to So you have whatever. 10 albums, collections from Dela Butri and uh, Hewale Band. Yes. H- how well are they patronized here in Ghana? I know when you go to the festivals, you sell them. Here in Ghana, are people really patronizing them? You see, these days also, people who do all this kind of uh, friends and crap, pirates, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, they are mm-hmm. very wicked. <laughs> I, I mean, you are working and getting your salary at the end of the month. You don't want the musician to enjoy. Sometimes I ask myself, these people are so wicked. Why do you have to do that? If you go to Europe and America, people buy the CD. People buy CDs. I mean, because they know that it's very illegal that people patronize my music. Sometimes my concert, I saw them like this album. I launched it at one of my good friends, the Colombian ambassadors, residence. You know. I, 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 he, he, she invited various friends of her as uh, some get together. You know, some get together. Mm-hmm. They were like about 100 or so. I see. And he said, I'm organizing this for my good friend, the laboratory, who is uh, uh, making Ghana proud, blah, blah, blah. And she was so proud. And she was my student too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So I started selling this album from there slowly because they know that musician must eat. No few I know, at least. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. But are they also on the digital stores? Yes, okay. I have them on the uh, um, iTunes, iTunes, mm-hmm. uh, CD Baby, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and the rest I can't remember. Or yeah. I'm not familiar with this kind of. Yeah, CD Baby has a very beautiful profile of you. Last Thank night you. I spent time reading all of it. I wow. said, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've really profiled you very beautifully, and Thank I you. believe whoever will read it will start looking for you and your works. Yeah. How many members are in the Hewale band so far? Now I have ten people. Ten people, and yes. you travel with all these ten? Yes, if I have to travel with them, I do. Wow. Yes. Sometimes I go alone to, to teach. Sometimes I go, people invite me to come and just do a recording with them. They fly me and do the recording and come back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. So when you're going for performances, you go with all the 10. Yes. And then I suspect that really people are paying big for uh, the laboratory. Of course, they have to pay. That's what I do for my living. Wow. When it comes to money, don't joke with me. Oh. <laughs> 
No, I, I, I'm, I'm asking this because when some of our known high life guys are traveling, yeah. I know they face difficulties with their, their numbers. Yeah. If they want to go to maybe eight man band, ten man band, the promoters yeah. will tell, oh, we cannot afford, we can only do you and the manager and another person. But you are able to travel with a ten and so get what you want. You see, it depends on who is inviting you. You know, I remember when I have to go to the West African country store. It was sponsored by the Ministry of um, uh, Foreign Affairs in Paris. And also the French embassy here in Accra and Alliance Frances came together. So our ticket was bought by them. Okay. And the hotel, five-star hotel, was arranged mm-hmm. by the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs. And the okay. flight was also paid by them as well. Wow. And the Pedium and, mm-hmm. of course, the contract. Mm, it was very good. Very, yes, of course. I see. Yes. Now... You use your breath because it is uh, the wind or it is the air that you have to put in, into the instrument to yeah. provide the sound. Uh, you've been doing it so many years, since you were even 10 years. Are there no health implications to no, it? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Sometimes people ask me whether I go to the gym and I said no, because I stand on my feet for four hours playing. So this is already your building. Muscles. My muscles was building itself because I hold it like this. Mm-hmm. So it's building itself by... Playing. I see. Yes. So it was, uh, uh, it is out of the play of the flute. That's why you've built muscles like that. Yes. But of course, our, our family, we are born a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> My father is a very tall man. But y- you still need stamina to be able to yes, sustain. Yes, you really need a very good stamina. Mm-hmm. So how, how, do you, how do you exercise? How, how do you keep that stamina going? First, you have to love the instrument first. If you don't love the instrument, for instance, if you have to play, let's say, um, a longer note like a... 12 bars which mm-hmm. is like one two three four one two three four We're very long mm-hmm. you know a very long or maybe three bars one two three four but i'm not counting now i'm going to play no, it's 16 bars. Mm. Uh, uh, four bars mm. you still have to sustain it yes you have to sustain it you don't breathe no you have to exercise yourself i see but if you don't love the instrument you cannot do you cannot do it like the way I'm doing. You need to have a passion for it. Hmm. Like uh, Trigmatic was uh, once, I remember very well when I used to teach uh, at the school where he was schooling by then at um, St. Martin de Porres at Dantuman. Okay. okay. He was my past student okay. from that school. It's ama- I was so proud. Mm-hmm. What, he still played the instrument. Uh, the flute? Yes. So Trig knows how to play. Of course, he knows how to and play. And he's not putting it in his songs. One day I'm going to let him play. <laughs> <laughs> because he has to be doing the fusion now. Yeah, he's, he's not listening doing to it. us. I know, I know. Trig, uh, next time we, ha- we want to listen to the flute <laughs> in some of your songs. It is very, very important. Now, looking at the rate at which the world is um, going through civilizations, our taste for music is changing. Do you think traditional music still is going to enjoy some longer lifespan? Of course, you see, Sammy, we are in a world that, I mean, no matter how the situation may be, tradition never dies. Mm. If you go to uh, Equiapim or if you go to Kumasi, you still eat your fufu, your banku is there, your Akan language, the Ewe language. These are ours. This is our culture. And our music, why are we trying to, to embrace? I'm not saying that we shouldn't do music that are coming from outside, but what, what, it can, um, what can make our industry grow? You understand is that if we try to put more of the organic instrument in the synthesizers our music will go far and our traditional music i think what we have to do is we have to start loving it because if you don't play i remember very well very well that gbc in 90s when they were doing this kind of program called music for countryside they play music from uh Bota region uh, uh, uh northern region all the 10 regions Achua Achua Tome is the one I give him the credit. He goes around all the country record. And when they play it, everybody listen. But it looks like we don't we don't accept or we don't love our own traditional music. Mm-hmm. And if you go to Nigeria, Nigeria don't go away with their traditional music. That's why their music has been traveling. I have a friend from there who is close to uh Whiskey and uh, um, Femi, Femi Kuti. He worked with uh, how do you call it? Whiskey. We need to fuse our own instruments in the live record, uh, in the recording. Okay. Because other than that, then our music is dying. You know, Nigerians are waking up. They are copying things from us, and they are going faster in a business way. But we don't love what we have. Uh, what we have. See. We. It's too much of westernization. You understand? Okay. I have been to Europe before. I've been to America. And so what? I'm a Ghanaian. I eat fufu. I eat bangun. I eat akplan. 
I eat everything. I'm a Ghanaian. I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. That's why this man can see me as a Ghanaian. And he will love what I'm doing. He came all the way from the, from the US, US mm-hmm. just because of our traditional drumming, mm-hmm. our traditional mm-hmm. music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many awards so far for Dela Bucci and uh, Hewale Band? I have one from the US. Um, it's a private one. Okay. And I have the best uh, traditional artist of the year 2008 from uh, VGMA. VGMA. Mm-hmm. Then I have I think there are five of them. I can't count them. <laughs> I don't, I'm not material, so I sometimes know, I don't I remember know, all these I things. I know, I know, I know. Have you been getting some small support from the States, uh, looking at what you are doing in the name of Ghana? I think it would be a very great, uh, great idea if the state could support. Because I've always been saying... You've not gotten any support at all? Not from the government. Mm-hmm. The government, I, I travel to represent Ghana uh, a couple of times. I travel with one of the former ministers, as myself. And then my band travel to represent in Dubai and Korea and other countries, Cairo and also Prague, you know, but in terms of sustainability or some sort of support. So, so what, 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 kind of support, what kind of support would you want? Um, maybe they are listening to us and yeah. you, you want governmental support. What kind of support? In what way, in what form do you want it? Of course, financial support. Okay. What I want is that I am there as a, a, a Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. I want to give back to society. And then if the government is willing to support, just to fuel my car, at least go and come and something small, no good fuel mm-hmm. to eat. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you go to various schools to teach. So apart from Lego, uh, Legon that you've been doing, your uh, department... No, I don't business. work with Lego anymore. Oh, you don't work with no, them no, anymore? No, 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 no. Since when? Almost. Oh, way back. Way back. Oh, I worked okay. there for 10 years. Do, do, do you get some invitation to maybe some private institutions to teach their children? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was teaching at Ghana International School um, way back and then various uh, primary schools and stuff like that. But no, 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 not really. I don't have a... Because now my my performing Uh is more than, you know, so I'm just having one day or two to two days for teaching. So that's what I want to develop now to, to help others who are coming to know much about the instrument. What mm, made mm. me the laboratory is that I use this instrument to play traditional music of Ghana, mm-hmm. classical music, mm-hmm. uh, jazz music. Jazz, yeah. So that means that the, in, the instrument is unlimited when it comes to skill. I see. So this yes. small instrument is worth over a million dollars. Yes. <laughs> come here, let's come closer. Come closer. Let me ask him his experience so far. It has been very, very insightful with Della Botry. Uh, Kwame, how are you doing? Come here, open your country. What is tree? I see, very, yeah. very beautiful. Now, so see, I question what humble we are now. Go soon, yeah. Oh, Patrick Mencia. Come here, kill me. That was, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. Um, so far, how how far have you learnt uh, the drums? Uh, I've been here for. Uh, quite a few months now, mm-hmm. a little more than a year. Okay, I've just been going around to some of the various regions and uh, keeping in contact with some uh, friends that are back home inside the movement. And okay, they've referred me to some people here, mm-hmm. and through that, I've gone to some of the various regions, found some teachers, and uh, spent anywhere between a couple weeks to a month, maybe a couple months, study with you know some some A way stuff and come to Accra, study some Ghana stuff, then go to Kumasi, study some Ashanti stuff, and uh, ultimately found my way back to Accra and has been, have been in Accra for most of my time now. Okay. Um, studying some of the Ghana front I'm from with some of the guys from Jamestown. Uh, they've showed me a lot of the Pan logo, Waka, Fume Fume, mm. uh, the Ghana Ubuntu. and all that. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And then um, I've been doing that for most of my time and then recently have uh, taken an interest to study some of the xylophone uh, with Mr. Aaron over at uh, uh, University of Ghana. He's been showing me some of the xylophone coming from the northern region. I see. And just uh, now recently getting in touch with uh, Dela and uh, starting some of the flute as well. So I see. Now, uh, someone will say where you come from, from the West, their taste of music is the hip-hop kind of thing and you are here learning traditional music. What is the market there like? After learning everything, when you go back, how useful is what you are learning going to be to you and them? That is a very good question and... Um, Every day I, I'm here learning more and more and I ask myself that when I get back there, you know, I have every intention to use what I'm, you know, learning here and uh, 
it's it's it will be interesting. A lot of that I'll actually once I get there I'll see what what the potential is. But there is potential. Um, from what you mentioned, uh, a lot of people. Yes, I guess more of the the focus is on some of the hip hop, uh, some of that kind of stuff. But um, there's a there's a, a very valuable treasure to this this cultural music that you can't see in in U.S. or Westernized music. Um, you know, most of what's coming out these days is is really computer based, and not that there's anything wrong with that. But the the popular consensus is more around you know the 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 club lifestyle or the hip hop lifestyle, and 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 that's good. But there's a real treasure to this cultural music here that. Um, you know, if it weren't for it, then exactly that's why I came all the way, okay. all the way here to see it. So, mm. uh, in learning all this stuff, my hopes are to. So, how, how many more years do you have, Tulane? Uh, I mean, I would love to stay as long as I can, but I see. Uh, circumstances <laughs> depend. I have so. a feeling you already have a Ghanaian girlfriend. Uh, because you don't want to go. You are not sounding like you want to go, cry, Kwame. Yeah, I mean, I've you know. Uh huh. That one, we'll leave that for a different time. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Kami Alex is not going to US anymore. He is not a Ghanaian. <laughs> one, one thing, I have to give a big shout out to uh, my teacher himself, Ogbami, who is in Jamestown. I have to give a big shout out to my friends and family in the art center who have been helping me out with everything. Okay. Uh, I called them, I told them to listen in, so I hope they're listening. Oh, uh, I know. Benjamin Ama, Paul Kumsen, okay. Fatal, mm -hmm. OG Chris, mm -hmm. Skinny Baba, chairman and uh, everybody else friends and family of art center i hope you're listening i see yeah. okay so let me go to the man with the guitar boss are you also a student or you are a work and pay artist <laughs> <laughs> no i call myself a member of the hewale, hewale sounds oh yeah. you are a member of the hewale yeah, sounds yeah. and do you do just the guitar or you do other instruments as well no just the guitar you just a singer as well oh you are a singer as well yeah. um i was also asking that all the guys playing the instrument do you all sing because listening to the song at the background i hear some voices doing it and what when you were playing in the studio too i realized you wanted to start some singing yeah <laughs> yeah i sing, I sing. you sing as yeah, well and play at the same time what has been your experience with the hewale sound so far oh, how many so years have you good. been with them to even start with oh no not that long just a year but okay. i've not regretted being with hewale mm -hmm. sounds i've mm -hmm. learned a lot and i've been telling I've been, I've been thanking you most of the times when I get a platform to thank you. Mm -hmm. And once again, I want to say a big thank you to mm. the laboratory. I don't want to playing Bebre Muso. And yes, sir, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but he has taught me a lot and I appreciate that a lot. Because it's not everyone who will do that for okay. a young and upcoming artist like okay. me. So, mm. so I, do you play Shabo to some bands or it is Hewale Sounds only? <laughs> No, sometimes I do get sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do get shabu too. It yeah. is allowed. It yeah, is allowed. Yeah, yeah. It is allowed. And he understands me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Yeah. Send uh, no more. Yeah. Now get the lady for me because uh, when I was looking at her play, I asked myself, Ah, now when so a ma juma, we the sang kaya me ma juma on kadela butri sende na bata na basa abu boy ne sa. Na mo mi hunse sister fine girl bi yensu bobi sa. Madam, what's your name once again? Hi, my name is Dede. Dede. Yes. Dede, is this for is this business for women as well? I thought it was for men only. Yes, it is. Uh huh. We are all allowed to. Okay. To yes. Okay. And uh, what level have you learned to? Have you done about sixty percent of the learning, or no. you are still? No, I'm. You not, are a beginner. Yes, I'm very much a beginner. I've but you, you played the Tnamin chain nicely. <laughs> it was lovely when you guys were playing i felt like hey, this song is or this kind of uh play is for the rich like when you see kebi no afraid the lamu no mu bomana oh real mu in i see so what do you also want to do with it do you also want to start your own band or maybe you also want to become a teacher after that yes i'm a singer i've been <laughs> singing for a few years and i wanted to add value to my craft and i've been playing the flute since i was a child but i didn't have a teacher so last year i met mr Della at alliance frances and i spoke to him about my interest in learning professionally okay so since july last year i've been with his band hewale sounds and we've been studying at the dubois center Center. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you still sing alongside uh, learning how to play the flute. Yes, how long is it going to take you to finish with the learning process and become a star like Della Efo Della? I will never finish. You never finish. Uh, yes, because he's been playing for over thirty years. And I see. Yeah. So it takes a lot of time and practice, but 
um i'm getting the basics and for okay. now I'm as f- for as long as he's willing to teach me, uh-huh. I'm willing to learn. Oh, he's willing to teach you. Yeah. Now, after playing for some years, he has muscles. What are you also going to get? Yeah, I'll get the muscles. <laughs> <laughs> you also get the muscles, eh? Yeah, yeah. Wow, did they Thank you so much. All right, so then I come through and let's wrap up. I know we wanted to do more, but time is beating us. He's My guys to, are he's even waiting for me uh, for us to start of- running. We are going to do more. Where do you want us to take this to? Uh, for instance, do you do you expect that a time will come, a Shatawale song, there should be some flute, there should be some drums in it, a Sako the Stone Boy songs? How do you want to achieve that? I think Oboe, Obo, I work on Oboe's uh, album. And then if you listen very carefully to a lot of various gospel music, like OJ recent mm-hmm. music, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so when you be be a main channel be one, I was the one playing the flute. Be a boy, and if I am one, and if I am one, oh, you started that yes, flute, yes. Oh, and if you listen to Celestine Donko's mm-hmm. album, uh, mm-hmm. uh, this is my year, mm-hmm. supernatural. I was the one okay. playing the flute, okay, and the Bobo, I was the one playing the, the drums at the same time, the flute. Mm-hmm. So they are Josh Lai, Emre, Emre Adani, Adani, Emre Adani, uh-huh. Emre So uh-huh. I work with Nasi. Nasi called oh, me to work on these great see. albums. Yes. I see. So I it's see. a contribution to our music, you know. So if Shatawale wants to do a collaboration with what is happening, I mean, I'm available for, mm. I mean, like Shatawale said, we need to come together as mm. Ghanaians. Because okay. me, I don't see this as, mm-hmm. uh, I am this. I am like that. Okay. If we start to do that mm-hmm. and fight each other, that's what we are blocking. Okay. We are not moving. Okay. Because our okay. industry, our country need to mm-hmm. move mm-hmm. like America when I was sent by the government. The only I went to the Hollywood where they had all these movies and stuff like that and they told us that this is the gold mine of America. The mm. entertainment business mm. is the gold mine of America. Mm. So they are together as one people. So why are we not coming together as one people and we are like, uh, I am me and you are you and you are you. Faunko, mm. Faunko. Yeah, yeah, dance hall. Yeah. And I'm on my traditional music. No, 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 and no, 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 no. We need to come together. We to need. achieve. Last time I I saw this guy uh, uh, when I was uh, performing uh, at uh, Trip Magic's concert. I saw episode. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this guy is amazing. Mm-hmm. You see, it has come to a point where we have to start letting our musicians perform live because if you are putting all these practices, because in those days, before being a musician, you have to go to practice. Okay. You have to learn, mm. you have to learn, and you have to learn before okay. you're allowed to go on stage. Um, is it so expensive to hire Hewale Sounds to play for me? Charlie, Sammy. <laughs> For you, there is free. <laughs> For me, it's free. For you, How about free. Paloma, whose wedding is next month? <laughs> oh, if you want to have me on uh-huh. that, we have to talk about it. We have to talk about yes. that. Okay, That's so, so would you give your number to him? Yes, of course. Okay, so let's get a number. My number is 0244. <laughs> 0244. 36. 36. 1071. 1071. Yeah. Okay, so Paloma, to you and the new girlfriend that you want to get married to, get Hewale Sounds and Della Botry to play for you and your wedding will be superb. It will not be like the normal one. It will be very rich because the tradition, uh, the traditional music that will be played there, people will love it. You are also, Paloma, so you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You So talk to Hewale Sounds on 0244 361071. Four four three six one zero seven one. Then I talk to Ghana finally, and let's say goodbye to them. I think what we have to do as people, mm-hmm. or, or as the Ghanaians, we need to respect our culture. Good, because we can't be wearing all the suit all the time, and you know, wearing our own tradition. We cannot go away without wearing our own traditional dress. Uh, the minister was talking about wear Ghana, eat mm-hmm. Ghana, do this mm-hmm. Ghana, good mm-hmm. Ghana. But are we doing it? Are we listening to her? We need to listen to her first and see how best we can also do the little one that we can do to change Ghana because Ghana is what we are all, yeah. you know, making mm. our own life from. Mm. And mm. we have to thank God for giving us this country. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Dela Bochi. Thanks to Alex. Boss, I did not get your name. Lozo. Blozo. Lozo. Oh, Lozo. Okay, and also to the day. God bless you so much. Now, if you want to talk to Herwale Sounds and Delaraboche, please call. If you're a producer and you even want him to play.